Hi guys and girls, Etron here. Um, this is just a little quick update. Um, these are the RC cars where I'm working on for the Transformers. So we've got Hot Shot, Nightbird, um, go on, Jazz, but it's variant of Jazz. So it's like a mini conversion of Jazz, but it's same colours. But basically, what I've done with him. Um, is a bit of a disguised jazz so as you can see he's got a Decepticon symbol there so jazz is not a Decepticon but he's basically going to be playing them off against each other that's my jazz so he's going to have another symbol upon top of here and I'll just show it because it's over here I've got this sticker here it's the one what come on the old Autobots and Decepticons and what you used to do you used to hold it get it warm and then if you take your thumb off it reveal what transformer it was so you can get the Decepticon version and the Autobot version that's going to be going up back of his spoiler there smack there on that black bit so technically it's just like an Autobot, but he's running with a Decepticon symbol because he's taking Mick. But yeah, so that's uh, that variant of Jazz what I'm doing. I'm going to do the Porsche 911 variant of Jazz at some point. Um, and then also, this is the main one I'm working on. So, my mate Stay Tuned will be happy about this because this is the one I was talking to him about. It's Bumblebee. <clears throat> but it's a Mark two escort shell but it does look like the Camaro because it's got the fat body wheel arch on so when I've sprayed the spoiler yellow and the front grill yellow and the bumper where I'm working on um, I've just masked it all off so it's got a film of it top so it doesn't look shiny at the minute but when it's finished I'll take the film off all the masking off and uh, that'll be going on Probably the buggy, which is oh, it's downstairs. So that'll be going on a little buggy, but I've changed the ride height of it. So it's not a buggy, it's like a, a normal car. Because I changed the actual suspension on it and the ride height to make it into a road car. But it's a buggy size car. So yeah, uh, I'll show you that in a video. Um that's the special video what's coming up soon it's a bit of a collab music wise and rc wise from me and stay tuned so yeah that's just to let him know that i am getting on with it <laughs> and then we've got nightbird here this one we first ever transformer shell i did i actually 3d printed the um see if you can see it the symbol there and I did put one up back because I can 3D print them as well. So I've been toying with 3D printing and using stickers. Um, obviously, I 3D printed the spoiler for it, but it's a bit not very good. It doesn't look as good as what it could. So I'm going to order a replacement and get a metal one for that. So that's going to be in some videos at some point. Need to get some purple wheels as well because um, I'm finding it hard to find the alloys. Uh, this is Hot Shot, um, my little Hot Shot variant. Um, I did used to have the uh, Gem 1 Hot Shot um, and Bumblebee, and it were a little, it did look like a mini, and it was sprayed all this orange, um, sorry, red. Um, with a bit of orange down it um, and what they did they buggered up the paint paint job on it in the factory and they only released so many of them in my village and then they changed the colour scheme back to the yellow hot shot um, they did ask me to fetch it back in but when I were a kid I wouldn't fetch it back in and swap it and I kept it and nobody ended up having them round our end and then somebody decided to pinch it at me Art me collection when I were a kid, so yeah, it's a shame I couldn't show you that one, guys. 
Um, and I don't know what I've done with my Jam 1 Bumblebee either. I think that's got lost somewhere along lines. Um, for Jazz, I'm thinking about bringing this back to life. It's an old RC car. It's, can't get my words out. An RC car by Nico from back in the day. So I basically took battery out. I'm going to put a LiPo upgrade on it. Uh, see if I can do something with motor and tech. Take this off, get into motor inside here and swap that out. Swap all the electrics, put an ESC in and receiver in. Because um, if you can see, this comes off. It's got a circuit board in it, don't need it and that. So I can rip all that out and just use the chassis. Take the tyres off, put some better tyres on. I'm going to see if I can get an upgrade for suspension somehow. So I'm going to have a look, see what I can do with it and see if I can uh, get it up and running again. If not, I'll end up buying a chassis similar size to that for this. Um, so yeah, that's just a quick update on the Transformers RC cars, guys and girls. Much love and respect, and I'll catch you in the next one, e-tron.